All right. All systems have been checked and we are warming up the software. Why? Well, because this is OBS Studio and it tends to cut out when the image is stable for a little bit or idling. I don't know how to say it. Uh, give it a name. And just to do that warm up round, it'll probably just cut out again. Uh, I decided to start a little bit early today and yeah, let's see what happens today. Um, so yeah, in about 15 minutes, I want to be airborne. And ah, heck, let's just prepare the aircraft for that. Gives us something useful to do while we are working on the setup. And you do, you guys don't have to wait unless there is trouble with uh, the software. Which I am expecting. But if so, if that happens, I will be back in mere seconds. I've got my uh, monitor set up so that I can see what you guys can see. And as soon as that starts flickering, uh, I'll know that the software did itself proud again. And I get to reboot the software. Now, parking brake is released. We are at the fuel box at Kaohsiung in the Philippines. And we are going to Japan. Now, oh, that is magic right there, isn't it? Pushing back without uh, the engine even being started. Basically, there's a whole lot of nothing happening over there. Let's push back into general aviation. And then get set up to start. <coughs> that is magic, isn't it? like there's an electric motor hidden somewhere in there but okay that'll do let's set up everything we need today uh, our initial altitude is going to be 6,000 Let's punch that into the box. And eventually we're going to go to 9000. And it seems that the ILS where we're landing, 36 right at Okinawa, is already there. Now there is no ATC online, so let's go to one to two decimal eight for our radio. Let's see what is happening over there. Let's connect a VETSIM. Yeah, this is all happening on the other screen, of course. Uh, I'm checking with VetSpy if everything is in order over there. If there is no hidden ATC, I should take into consideration. Uh, let's make sure that all the flight surfaces are working properly. 
they seem to be working properly. It is busy in here, isn't it? Alright, now because there is no ATC, uh, transponder is going to 1200. Q&H is standard, let's keep it there. Outside air temperature 20 degrees, no need for any pedo heat. Let's see how we are doing. This is us and that is auto traffic, of course. Some things are not corresponding. But okay, we can either go straight ahead and then onto the runway or we can taxi a few corners and go there. Now where's the other guy? There he is. Okay, so... Mm, 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 mm. How are we looking? And are we still online? Yes, we are still online. Rather important. How's the electrical doing? Yeah, that is not charging because the engine is not running. And even though this is a 454 nautical mile flight, of course the tanks have been topped off, but let's start the engine just to be sure. That is already looking somewhat better. We don't want to drain the batteries uh, while being idle. And if we do so, we can restart the simulator. And that is not the best we do. So, radio has been checked. Discord has been checked. We know by VATSPY that there is uh, no ATC online. There is a lot of traffic in the area, let me show you that. We are here-ish. Manila, no. Davao, no. Oh, come on. We are supposed to be somewhere here. Did I not put in the flight plan? Is that it? I did not put in the fi uh, flight plan. That's why we're not showing up. But well, we are here-ish. And... If all goes well... We should show up in just a little bit. Alright. <clears throat> oh, we are up here. Okay. Didn't know we were making that much progress. And we are flying all the way to Okinawa, Japan. Which covers a lot of sea. We will be going somewhere in this general area. Let's press map. We may be able to see. Not yet. Okay, well, no worries. Uh, stream is still online. The heck? 
Anyway, let's go back to checking all the systems before we actually start. Went to two decimal eight six thousand initially. We have got our transponder code set at twelve hundred. Oh wait, uh, let's put it on for a change. We are about ready to taxi. What time is it? Four minutes before we should be going. So let's put on the taxi lights already. Figure out our route. And then normally I would click the button to start the stream and get out of here. Now, because there are other aircraft in our area. I'm going to give them a bit of a shout. Let's see who else is over there and get going, I guess. Kaohsiung traffic, Papa Hotel, Bravo Victor Lima, about a taxi to uh, runway 09er. Okay, that was an impressive comeback from the guys. <coughs> Final check. All works. Well, we might as well get going. So when you expect the stream to cut out, it doesn't. I should do that more often. Let's get that notice out of the way. And get back onto the yellow line. Might be nice. For some reason the streaming software is still going. It's actually amazing because the last few times it cut out after a few minutes. I had to reboot the entire thing again. And that was basically it. And let me tell you, that pisses a streamer off like nothing else. I would rather run out of gas than have the stream cut out. So guessing we're about to make a turn or we'll crash into these buildings over there. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Brakes. Look at those cloud formations. They could become a menace.
<clears throat> All right. Let's hold short right here. Make sure we know about auto traffic. And then get going. That guy over there seems idling. Nothing else to be feared. Kaohsiung traffic, Papa Hotel, Bravo Victor Lima, ready for takeoff 09. Kaohsiung traffic. Alright. Full flaps, better throttle, let's go. Here we go! Getting blown of course by that jet over there. Not your flaps up. Second. And all the way up. Now I really want to enjoy this environment, so let's use flight level change. And the heading for now. Let's adjust the flight level. We'll change just slightly so that we got a bit of speed and a lot of climb. There's mountains ahead of course. Ah shoot. Should have used uh, the landing lights. And I didn't. We are clearly not high enough for these mountains. So let's turn away and make sure that we will be high enough. And we have a first responder here, that is X saying, have a good flight today, mister. Well, thank you, buddy. It is going to be a long flight from the Philippines to Japan. Yes, we started a little bit early. I was warming up the software because I was expecting it to cut out and then it didn't. I. We're past 2200. Climbing nicely so far. Let's hit that nav button because we're almost at the line. And then see if the GPS will work with us today. 
apparently it does because we're making a turn. And our first waypoint is going to be Diana at 295.3 nautical miles away from here. Good lord. Now if that was the entire flight, no worries. But we are going to be seeing a lot of sea today. There's Diana. After which we are going to go a lot further. And eventually land or attempt to land over there. Next stop, Diana. It's getting a little bit shaky at 3800. We're going to 6 for now. And let's see how that works out. Our uh, destination is going to be 9,000. <laughs> Will you look at those clouds? Not sure about you guys, but I do think that summer is gorgeous here. Now we are slowly approaching 5000, so let's help the engine by leaning the mixture a little bit. So that it can adjust itself for the altitude. A little bit leaner mixture and then the aircraft will climb. Speaking of which, here in the artificial horizon I can still see the mountains being a lot taller than our current altitude. So let's go to 9000 already. We can do that. Because there is no ATC online that is. Let's just happily climb up there. And somewhere in those clouds there is a hidden mountain. I hope I don't scratch my paint for sure. Now it's really easy to get a dent out of a Cessna 172, but there is going to be one heck of a bunch of little dents when you crash into a mountain and then of course you chip the paint off. That is not ideal is it? So somewhere in here there is a mountain. Let's go find it. <laughs> And chances are still that we're going to crash into it. Ooh. Let's find out, folks. And I can't believe it. Uh, the software is still keeping us alive and we're still streaming. Well, I was expecting it to cut out. It did so in the last few episodes. And apparently that is no longer an issue. Somehow, it didn't even get an update. So... Going to Japan from the Philippines. All the area we still uh, see here, that is all still Philippines. After that there is going to be a heck of a lot of water. 
while going to Japan. But apart from this mountain range, I don't see a lot of trouble yet. Blank. I am seriously starting to doubt the altitude of the mountains and my own decision to go directly this route and I'm actually doubting the will to live because uh, yeah I'm the one that made that decision I Is my paint going to stay intact? We'll know in minutes. We're past 6700. There can still be a mountain be hiding in those clouds and just waiting for us to crash into it. And yeah, that is genuine fear right there, folks. I do not want to restart the entire leg again. Because then you know for sure that somebody is uh, uh, going to click away, or the software is going to crash, or something else that is terrible is going to happen. <coughs> so let's... If you guys are really just start praying, it is a slight yay or nay. We could be dead in minutes. <laughs> So, Japan, who of our current viewers has ever been to Japan or even lives there? Always wanted to go there, but there are some weird games going on on television in Japan. Even we know that here from the Netherlands. And we also do know that the Japanese culture well, obviously that is something worthy of respecting. The ancient culture is one that I respect myself. And yeah, that. But they do have a lot of weird games down there in Japan. Anyway, another thousand to go until we reach our uh, destination altitude. I'm currently slightly less worried about the artificial horizon, but there's still a chance. Let's find out. Are we going to crash, burn and die or not? And in all my preparation... I forgot to do one thing. Good lord. How you doing, Rick? Rick just joined us on the uh, uh, Discord. Uh, we're trying. Is this thing working? Can confirm it's working. He 
Is he following me? I don't know yet. Could be. Look at those clouds. And there's a mountain hiding in here somewhere. We can see the ridges right here. This is getting intense. And Rick just disappeared. Rick, if you're uh, watching and you can hear me, it was working just fine. Are you about to fly with us? And let's throttle back a little bit because we were about to over rev there. Let's keep her at around 2340, which is a sweet spot. Let's see what happens. Uh, we did not die just yet. But there are more opportunities to die straight up ahead. When you consider the altitude of the mountain tops, we are flying pretty low today. How much of that? Oh, there's a lot still to come. And Rick just went completely offline, so we do not know if he is coming back, yay or nay. Look at the refs. Let's correct them a little bit. It is turbulent up here, isn't it? If you're hand flying this, well, uh, yeah, you're in trouble. Our destination altitude of nine or a thousand. I was trying to do something uh, before Rick joined. Let's try to open up a little bit of music. Just something in the background. Let's give the engine a little bit of a checkup. 2390, 80 RPM. I'll accept that. Fuel flow is in the green, so that's good. Pressure is good in the oil. Temperature as well. 
exhaust gas temperature is a little bit on the high side but because it is four degrees outside we can also still accept that the vacuum is in the green uh, we got fuel to last us a couple hours and the battery is being charged I'm currently happy except for the turbulence and those mountains up ahead what do you think folks uh, are we going to crash or just missing by meters I'm glad we're out of the clouds though and Mr. Steve Jones says hi sir browser was going crazy rebooting well uh, thank you for rebooting sir didn't think you would be up at this time <laughs> Oh shoot, but if he is up, he might be hunting us. Where is he? Where is he? What is my next airport in a hundred miles? It's going to be slightly further than that, I'm afraid. But let's go see. Uh, that would be Romeo Oscar India Golf. And that is quite a bit away. Uh, Romeo Charlie Foxtrot November might be closer for you. In our uh, GPS we can see it is 268.1, now zero, nautical miles to the waypoint, Diana. That is a bit further away than the uh, 100 nautical miles airport. But knowing I'm flying over the Philippines, you can also uh, just spawn in the air. Uh, we're friends in simulator, so I should light up green. And you can select a spawn in the air near somebody. And we'll go and see what happens. There's more clouds up ahead and more mountain ridges. Yeah, we are low. And Steve says he'll be there soon. Are you going to join the Discord as well, uh, Steve? Steve is going to join on the Discord. Amen to that, sir. Look at those cloud formations. It is real life. Yeah, I'm currently hiding from Steve. <laughs> Last time I met him online here on this channel, he was either hunting me or doing just whatever. <laughs> Look
Look at the suggested altitude, 2000. And we're just barely skimming the mountain tops. What in the world is this thing thinking? Because we got to be at uh, 2000 by the time we get to the waypoint called Utoki. Then 1300 at Nathan to intercept. And that is going to be quite a while away. Any sign of him yet? Gotta love an airplane rocking its wings to the beat of the music. Currently fairly confident that we are going to make it. Steve says, nope, don't see him. Well, we departed from uh, Romeo Charlie Kilo Hotel, Kaohsiung, in the Philippines. And we have a chatter. TR says hi. Let's chat him back. TR says something that I cannot share with uh, YouTube because uh, if I say it as he wrote it I will violate their rules but let's put that in uh, ancient text and he says I have cometh So let's see if he is around. I can't see because of the clouds. And now he sent me a movie through Discord. Uh, yeah, not going to be able to watch that right now. Wondering where Steve is. I still see some outlines of the mountains right there at our exact altitude. We would not have made that. Not sure what is lurking in these mountains either. I'm glad we're going to be over the ocean in a little bit. Last chance of uh, striking a mountain. 
then again that does look pretty doesn't it What is that? An aircraft popped up on the Romeo Charlie Foxtrot November Airport. Is that a Steve? Let's keep an eye out for him. We are look at that down there. says it is not him. Okay. Well, if it's not you, then who is it? Person does line up. <laughs> Look at a river delta down there. It's almost like artificial intelligence has thought that up. If the guy on the chart is not Steve, then where is he? Not sure. Steve, whereabouts are you? This guy is now moving fast, so chances are he's in a jet. is dealing with a problem. Uh, tell me about the problem, sir. Or use Discord and then we can talk about it. 
problems are there to be solved. Two hundred and forty-three and a half nautical miles to go to Diana. Diana. Or Princess Di, whatever you want to call her. Going to assume that by that time we get to Diana that Steve has joined us as well. More mountains in our way, and look at that view, folks. Come on now. As the good folks in the southern parts of the United States would say, that is pretty right there. And here in the background we got Steve's own song. <laughs> okay, let's get that one until he actually is in uh, in the video. Now for those people who don't know it, uh, Steve is a hand flyer. He reg yeah, barely uses the autopilot. So he gets affected by mountains, by winds, by everything. And I'm using the autopilot. Which basically means while I'm going straight ahead at a steady pace towards the next waypoint guided by the computer Steve is manhandling everything that the computer does 10,000 times faster if he is able to stay airborne that is an achievement in itself especially in some of the winds uh, that we have seen in the last video in which Steve has appeared but to aviationists and sim aviationists it can look a bit clown-esque at times which is why I've given him that song <laughs> because last time uh, when I invented that I was going straight ahead, same altitude, constantly, and Steve was swearing left to right, up and down, crashed a couple times, and it looked a little bit clown-esque. <laughs> and Steve says if he can appear he will be flying a Coronado Piper Arrow without a pilot. Oh! Steve, what have you done? That's a transformation for you, isn't it?
and there is no Steve in sight but probably still because of the clouds it's one aircraft in the distance which is a real life aircraft I'm wondering if Steve is still airborne, or, or already airborne, and in which part of uh, the globe. I should be able to keep up with the uh, Carinata Piper Arrow. That should be doable. In a 172, I guess. <coughs> now, apparently, we did leave the mountains behind us, but there still is a little bit of water to deal with. And I'm still curious about this guy over here is that a Steve or is that another aircraft the one that came from uh, Romeo Charlie Foxtrot November and is he going to scratch our paint and Steve is not on yet Alright, uh, what are the problems? Uh, are you dealing with uh, mandatory updates or something else? There he is. Romeo Charlie Foxtrot November. That's where it came from. And apparently that is also his home base. Our darn Steve, his flight simulator is hanging. Um, I had that in the past until I got pissed off and then I simply unplugged the computer rebooted it computer got pissed I had to reinstall everything again and then afterwards everything was back all right <laughs> So, back into the clouds. And back above the clouds. Mind you folks, this is something that you normally see out of the window of a 747. We are above the clouds in a 172. Here we go. Steve says he might have to head over to Xbox and no communicate. Come on now. No communication. Uh, maybe you can fly on the Xbox but use the computer for communication via uh, Discord. Is that something worthy of considering?
Uh, yeah, thanks for that, uh, BB. And I guess he's a trooper as well, but you may want to check out your keyboard that seems to be stuck on something. clouds in it It's a double rainbow again. You cannot unlove that. That is gorgeous right there. And I don't mean by the stereotypical uh, woke nonsense. But the color scheme in general. That is pretty right there. Let's send the drone up a little bit and see what is beyond the horizon. Oh, look at there, a couple more clouds. Who would have expected that? Anyway, I'm going to step away for a quick putty break and I hope that Steve is about to embark on his journey and join us. Be right back folks. And we're back! How are things uh, looking up there, Steve? Are you airborne yet? Still looking for answers? There's still that 
Oh my lord, we are surrounded by the rainbow. Not sure if you guys can see, but on my 4K screen I can surely see that. Wondering how Steve is doing. That meant somebody joined. Testing one, two, three. Is this Steve by any chance, or is it a Rick? That would be me. Which me is that? <laughs> I'm sure he's in the Jones family, but... Different names keep popping up. Uh, one time it is uh, Rick Jones, then it is Steve Jones, and who knows? And this here is like flying in the Arctic, isn't it? Steve, what time is it over there? Uh, 5 to 4 a.m. Good lord, man. I really appreciate uh, you being here right now and in the Alaska series which are coming up in just a few flights I'm going to make sure that I'm going to do a nighttime flight for me which is a daytime flight for you By the way, you have an open mic on which you should not chew. Mm. Well, that went quick. You're still there. You're still alive. That was a sudden silence. Anyway, let's see how we are doing. Over the water, of course. There's a lot of water between us and the next waypoint, which is still, let's go see, 209 nautical miles away. And it is fairly busy in the area where we are flying right now. We are down here. And for some reason, I do not think that the chart is pointing us at the right island, but who knows, who knows, who knows. It is, however, troublesome that our radio is not able to pick up any of this area just yet. Why is that troublesome? It may be a great uh, 
way to interrupt the video somewhat. If it is going to be this when we're flying over the Arctic, um, can you hear me? Can confirm. Uh, I can heal you. Are you on the North uh, Europe or West Europe? I'm on the Amsterdam server when it comes to uh, Discord. If that helps anything. What trouble are you facing right now? Is he around and about already? Doesn't seem to be the case. Negative. Still trying to get on the server. Uh, sir, you are on the server. The trouble seems to be, to me, uh, getting airborne from the correct airport, is that correct? Do you know that you can uh, spawn in the air right next to me, right? And somebody just did spawn. Off to our Here right. Come. Here you go, folks. I'm being hunted. I'm just about uh, uh, just above the cloud layer, so you should be able to find me. By the way, Steve, did you set up the push to talk button uh, in any way? The push the talk button is a very nice instrument which prevents us from hearing you clapping your teeth. Uh, 
All right, where is he? Where is he? Let's go and find out. Should be able to see him. Man, those are thick clouds. And we can see in the map that Steve is missing the mark. Turn right uh, 90 degrees, buddy, uh, and get to 9 or 1,000. Is he going to turn? Doesn't look like it. Well, maybe very slowly. Let's figure out if he can join us. His aircraft should be a lot faster than R-172. Which is great, of course. At least then he can catch up. And now not catch up the condiment but uh, actually catching up to the flight and getting into the video. Steve, turn right, turn right. And you're going to have to chase me. You have gone way past me. I think he actually wants to go back to the Philippines. Steve is restarting his game yet again and gave some text advice. Let's hope that it works for him this time. Steve says he's viewing the map and he was not moving and nor was I, but I'm in a Cessna 172. Uh, how can you tell if I'm moving if I'm barely moving? <laughs> We're doing 90 indicated and true airspeed uh, 109.
Alright. So, this aircraft here is now stable. The server did not yet realize that he is a goner. Let's have a look out here. We got Steve dead ahead. BC Sim Pilot. That is our buddy Steve. Got you inside, buddy. So Steve is now uh, hopefully climbing, he's at, let me check that, 2500 feet and descending, 24, you need to go up buddy, you need to go up. Direction and altitude. Zero six three. Oh, shoot. Zero six three. Yeah, we got a dead head, uh, and it is 184 miles to Diana, so we should be able to see Steve pretty soon. We already got his tag. Now let's see him in real life. Now at 4400, he sees me. I can only see his tag. That's probably because he is still in the cloud layer. Which is getting thinner by the way, look at that. Yeah, that is looking good. And Steve says I'm behind him. All right, no worries about that. You still climbing the 9000, buddy? Steve types back, yes. Um, does that mean that your Discord has crashed or you just prefer typing towards uh, talking? Oh, good lord. Steve is going down. Steve is going down. According to uh, what I'm seeing here, now he's climbing again. Try to get above the cloud layer, my buddy. Thought you died. It is a lot less windy up here.
Keep an eye on your altitude and get up here so that the other folks at home can actually see you. No, wrong direction, you're going down, you're going down. And he's climbing again. Get up here! Come on, man! He's made it 5,000, so lean the engine a little bit. And once you lean the engine a little bit, it is going to get more power to work when you get above 5,000. I'm overtaking you, Steve. What the heck are you doing? It's not that cloudy right there. Okay, uh, Steve is currently climbing, but he's flying the wrong direction. Sixty-two hundred feet, about two-thirds of the height where you want to be. And he's now chasing me. Here we go. Steve, use the autopilot to get to 9000. Stay there and simply follow me. <laughs> that should be right there. Come on, buddy, you can do it. I'm sure about it. Now let's make you prove my right. 6,800. 69. There we go, 7K. Two more to go. Get up there, buddy. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's still right behind me. Just a little lower altitude. He is past 75. And he's climbing. Steve, which altitude have you set? Steve has passed 8,000, so any second now we should be able to see him appear. While he's trying to catch up, let's take a look at our engine. 2370. I'll accept that for now. Fuel flow is good, pressure is good, temperature is good, exhaust gas temperature where I expect it to be with the outside air temperature of 2 degrees. Which is fairly cold, the vacuum is low but in the green, uh, fuel for days. Now because the outside air temperature is 2 degrees, we are going to flick on the pitot heat to prevent it from freezing. And we do see that BC Sim Pilot aka Steve has reached 9000 which is great so we should be able to see him in just a little bit Steve, what is your current uh, indicator speed and true air speed? I got nightmares in my head, I fear Thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head, I fear I'm at 89 and a half indicated 10809 uh, true airspeed heading 065 ish Steve, 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 you're crashing. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay, was this the PC version or the Xbox version? Oh. 
Okay, if this was Xbox, let's retry the computer again, please. Um, I really want to see you back in the video. And yeah, folks that are watching, um, that is why you do not want to play a proper simulator on a console. As he says, who is singing so slow? Powerful. Uh, no idea who that is, but this is royalty free music from uh, YouTube, uh, <laughs> which means I can play the music and not get a copyright strike. <laughs> By the way, that's also where your song came from, uh, Steve. And X is laughing his head off at Steve, apparently. Let's figure out where Steve is going to pop up next. To be honest, that can be pretty much anywhere. He is no longer behind us. he has to go well thank you for uh, viewing this video so far and catch you soon and Steve says ignore me narrate your flight if I uh, get on fine but if my control stop I'll be gone uh, yeah um, that is pretty normal right there. That happens in real life flying as well. Um, as soon as your controls cut out, you are either going to be dead or you crash, burn and die before you are dead. So, you coming back? I don't see him, folks. Do you? Somebody here. And that one is certainly going into the Hello, wrong room. 
Good afternoon, how are you doing? Alright, as I mentioned that, the aircraft over here... I don't know, I'm trying to get this Discord thing to work. Well, it's working, don't touch it. You do seem to have an open night though. Uh, have you checked out the uh, function called push to talk? All right, the other aircraft has suddenly disappeared. So I'm going to out on a limb here and guess that that was Steve trying to keep his aircraft alive in any way. But sadly enough did not uh, do it. Compared to my problems when it comes to the streaming software, I'm guessing I'm having the mildest... Hey, Where can I find this push to talk? Let me check that out for you, uh, back in a second, stand by. Let's check that out. On the PC version, uh, down in the bottom left, you have a cog, and that gets you the settings. If you go there, uh, there's a whole list of things. Uh, speech and video is the one you're searching for. There, you can either uh, select uh, activity or push the talk. <laughs> and I've picked a spare button on my joystick to uh, push the talk. That means he left the channel currently, probably as Discord is rebooting, I don't know.
Alright folks, Rick is back, aka Steve. Let's have a look around. He could be chasing us. Don't see him yet. Nor on the map. Folks, we're about one third of this flight, which means that Steve has plenty of time to get up here. Easy. I think he's coming pretty much straight ahead. Steve, is that you straight ahead? Okay, the other aircraft coming our way, we should be able to see him or her any minute now. Steve, I swear, if you're going to scratch my paint, I'm going to hurt you.
Lot of aircraft that's now in view. That seems to be a regular aircraft. And he's at 36,000 feet. So there's a good bit of distance between that guy and me. Now where's Steve? Look at there, Steve's song, but there's no Steve to be seen just yet. You're still here, Steve. I don't see a Steve. Do you guys see a Steve?
It's going to be a long video if I'm going to make you guys stare at what the hell happened. Uh, if I'm going to make you guys stare at all that sea and ocean. So it's going to be easy. Press R. Romeo. Control. Plus sign, plus sign, plus sign. And then a few more. Doesn't look like Steve is coming back anytime soon. Hold on here. And that's the trouble with uh, speeding up time. As soon as the aircraft goes off course, you get into trouble. And uh, now we get to wait for the aircraft to get back onto course before we can speed it up again. After all, it is still 71 miles to Diana. After which we make a slight turn to Yuski. And that is going to be it. So yeah, uh, this advantage of uh, making time speed up has just been proven
Ah, shoot. Yeah. Uh, speeding up time not going to work today. Because the aircraft keeps veering off. Let's see what happens if I speed it up just once. Come on you, get back on the magenta line. Turning, that's a good thing. Okay, we sped up times two, so not five just yet. That should mean that the distance we have to go to Diana is shortened in time. We have somebody in our area that's a player. And we got Steve behind us. All right. Our control minus minus. So we are now back at normal speed so that maybe Steve can catch up. He is hauling. He is at 10,000 feet. And climbing. Oh yeah, he is gunning for it now. I got a visual on my 4K screen. Steve is descending. What the hell is that boy doing? Got a visual on Steve right there. Where is he at?
There he is. And he's off way in the distance. What type of aircraft was that? I can overtake him, that's not uh, the problem, but what the hell was that? Steve is getting back up there. Going to assume he's over an island right now. And he's coming at me with a vengeance. Now stable at 9,700. Let's see if he'll crash again. Or maybe he's going to run into other aircraft. There's a number around. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, pull up, pull up Steve, pull up. Come on now, you can do it. Ooh baby, 4,000 and dropping. I'm going to assume he's got into a little bit of a trouble with his controls again. Come on Steve, you can do it. Come on now. Make that puppy climb, you're below 3000. Come on, buddy. 2,000. Make her climb. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. 1,900 feet. Stationary there. 18. Make a climb, buddy. Come on. 17. Come on, Steve. I know you got this.
I got 12. Doesn't seem to be climbing anymore. No, Steve, you're dropping. You're dropping. Come on, buddy. Hit that engine. Ah, good lord. He is dropping like a death fly. Come on, Steve. Keep it together. Yeah, let's see how this is going. Doesn't look very promising. He's now stuck at 40 feet. And we got work to do. That's enough of the music for now. Um, one, two, three, decimal nine. ATC is online. One, two, three, decimal nine. What do they like to be called? Fukuoka control. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Uh, they might bash me. Fukuoka control. Good afternoon, Papa Hotel Bravo Victor Lima. With you, nine thousand. Good evening, this is Kobe Kotfor, you are out of my airspace, monitor Nico 1 to get assembly. According to VETSPY, I am in your airspace, uh, which is why I contacted you. But uh, Papa Hotel Bravo Victor Lima will go back to a 1 to 2 decimal 8, sir. Good day. Thank you. Actually, the VETSPY is still the old version, so they didn't change. Can you repeat that last sentence? Uh, Papa Hotel Bravo Victor Lima did not copy. Uh, Bus Pi, the data is the old version. They still don't change the nearest, nearest version. Thank you, and over to Unicom for Papa Hotel Bravo Victor Lima. Thank you, and goodbye. Goodbye. The control radar contact cloud 19 cloud above safe also. Okay, I'm going to keep the radio on the this frequency for a little bit so that, um, yeah, viewers can actually hear that I am on the actual VATSIM network. In the meanwhile, where is Steve? Oh, no, that's another one. And I'm going to go potty for a quick bit. So, be right back.
and we're back and BC Sim Pilot aka Steve says well sorry bum I barely landed on that island again all of a sudden controls lost and uh, landing gear stopped working would not extend I don't usually have this issue when I'm flying in my region thanks for the attempt I have it on autopilot all good and then roll over and nose down back to bed I go probably have a night march again well Steve um, I do think um, it is also dependent on the aircraft which is involved um, the Cessna 172 is pretty easy to handle uh, look into that and also uh, yeah make sure that you know how to fly the aircraft And of course, uh, after this um, uh, Japan mission, we are coming up via Russia towards Alaska. And I'm going to do uh, nighttime flights, aka nighttime flights for me, daytime flights for you, so that yeah we can actually fly together I got a Cessna 700 straight ahead of me I mean I think it's a Cessna 700 but Steve why would you not try the 172 that's my question Fukuoka Control, Papa Hotel, Bravo Victor Lima request. Papa Hotel, Bravo Victor Lima, this is Kobe Control. You're live on YouTube. What would you like to say to YouTube, sir? Uh, Papa Hotel Bravo Victor Lima said you are live on YouTube what would you like to say to YouTube Tower has just uh, sorry in the tower center has just texted me. So let's text them back. And let's figure out what he wants to say uh, now in theory uh, Japanese people are pretty laid back when it comes to comments but you never know anything may pop out
station calling uh, say again please sending me away again okay so apparently he doesn't want to uh, be on YouTube which is his good right um, we are 14 no, uh, sorry 13.7 nautical miles from uh, uh, Diana after that on to Yuski and I'm going to try to pronounce this name correctly uh, Jay Lee says hello well hello to you too how are you doing today I hope I didn't butcher that name uh, so Okay, we're a couple of miles from Diana, and Jaylee says, "Good, I'm the ATC." Hey, how are you doing, sir? You found me pretty quickly. <laughs> That's a good thing. Serves 172 Vetsim. You found me by that. You can also find me uh, via my real name. <laughs> and yeah, that's me. Still communicating on COM2, which is still the ATC that has just sent me away. And yes, I am deep into their territory, even though ATC has told me that the borders have changed somewhat. Okay. Uh, so I can still communicate with him. Will you? There you go. But there is a center that is also close to us. One, two, three, decimal nine. What a coincidence. We are already logged into them. So, copy control, Papa Hotel Bravo Victor Lima. According to uh, the Vetsim charge, uh, we are now in your territory, 9000. Yeah, Papa Hotel Bravo Victor Lima, anyway, the, the Naha Airport is not my airspace. The busing is a little old part of map. Hmm. Can barely understand that guy. The voice is a little bit faint. And yeah, that. This is not going to make it any better because of all the engine noise. The 
So I'm going to have to text him. Now at least I have said what was necessary. And we are going to fly to... Yuski, then Utah, then Ganas. And after Ganyu, we are going to have to start working. Uh, we have to be at 2000 when we get to Utoki. And 1300 at Naton. You can already see Naton right here. I'm going to assume that Utoki is Utaki. So after Ganyu, we are going to start our descent. Wow, that was a little bit quick and a little bit faint. What if on 509 I'll contact in Chunk Control 128-32 good day? Okay, we are upping the speed because this space is not uh, regulated. Times two. What if I'm five five zero good evening, code control, I'm maintaining plan level three seven zero.
Control Papa Hotel Bravo Victor Lima. Be aware, uh, Papa Hotel Bravo Victor Lima has sped up times times two. And now, where do I? I you're probably Kalima, sorry, your voice a little noise. I'll text it, sir. Now, why did I uh, speed up time while in control airspace? First, he denied it is his airspace. Second, uh, it is going to take a long time. J B G underscore Central. What if I'm six zero five contact Kawashima radar one two one dash my four good night. Now normally it is impossible uh, to just inform the uh, ATC about you speeding up time because suddenly your aircraft is somewhere where they do not expect it to be just yet. And he denied that uh, this was his airspace after I thought up hey let's speed up time that's it now if it is his airspace it is going to be a request from me to him sir can I speed up the time to prevent a lot of boredom and then he can either say yes or no and in this situation um, he denied that it was his airspace I'm assuming he's still watching it But the borders somehow have uh, been, yeah, realigned. Let's call it that. And it is not his airspace anymore or just yet. So that means one to two decimal eight unicom, and that means I can pretty much do as I please. Which sucks if you want to do realism, and which is a good thing when you realize that um, you want to make a video people will actually watch. Speaking of which, let's check back on the comments. And uh, Jelly says, good luck your trip. It says now 172, high altitude is very hard. I was flying Cessna 172 and Piper 44 in the real world due to wind. GS is very low. 
and then Jay Lee says wait a moment please okay I'll wait not sure how long ago he or she said that but pretty much irrelevant let's go and see we have 23 and a half miles to the next waypoint after which we go straight ahead to Ganas and straight ahead to Ganyu let's do it Oh boy. Now why do I have this sinking sensation? We're about to have an encounter with a Japanese Cessna 172. And we're about to Uh, now, how do you call that in English? Kiss wings. Uh, uh, make um, a gentle tap. So that nobody dies, but everybody knows, hey, we did it. And don't get your hopes up. I'm now talking about the Mile High Club. I'm talking about simply touching wings We are about two-thirds of the way now. Well, according to Vetspy, that is. The dotted line is the route we still have to go. This is the guy we just talked to. And that's about it.
most in Utah. The Nantuk Ganas. And Ganju. to the next waypoint. Seven miles and that should be Utah then on to Ganas. I'm gonna speed up stuff to Ganju. Forty-eight miles to Ganju. Let's do that in record time.
26 so that is half of just a minute ago Now I'm curious about how the aircraft will behave when we get to Ganju. Because once we do, it can either uh, stray of course, circle around, or it can pick the course. You never know when time is sped up. And yeah, when stuff goes bad, it goes bad in a hurry when you speed up time because in this case stuff goes bad five times as fast so just a couple miles from Ganju And the airport is nearly inside. All right, approaching it. I'm getting prepared. Is it using the correct route? Seems that it does. That's not a bad thing, it actually worked! Uh, 38 miles to uh, Utaki. And after Utaki, we're going to have to get down. Get away, you. To ultimately. Uh, where's my notes? Thirteen hundred. And that is needed to intercept. So, we are already prepared. All we need to do when we get there is press the button so we actually go down. Afterwards we get to press the approach button and in theory things go right. Which basically means I'm screwed and I got the hand fly him in. Okay, that'll do. Our control minus, 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 and minus. We are now back at normal speed. And why? Because we're approaching a rather serious correction. Here at Deji, we are turning north 
and at 5 times the speed the aircraft is going to shoot straight ahead, come back, re-attempt, come back, re-attempt, come back, re-attempt, come back, re and that is going to be it. Now at Ganju, which is behind us, there we are. I should have already been at. What the hell happened here? I should have already been at less than 4,000. So let's make the aircraft go down. And of course the refs go up, as we can see here, and that is because we're going down, so less drag, 